Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Blue Lotus 360 tutorial. So let me sign in for the uh, ERP application and show you the, uh, the application around. So let me sign in first, uh, just with my username and the password. And then let me create the, uh, let me select the company that I would be uh, logging under. And let's click on continue here. Okay, great. So now you have come to the uh, the main menu uh, of the uh, Blue Lotus 360 uh, ERP application. So um, before I start anything, uh, so let me uh, in give you a quick intro to our uh, ERP application. So uh, if you look at it, uh, this is a multi-level. Uh, that means you can have uh, multi business units, multiple business units then uh, multiple projects, multiple batches, uh, multiple um, uh, multiple uh, batches, multiple units, um, all the multiple currency, all that can be actually uh, incorporated into this uh, ERP application. So uh, first of all, let me start off with the setup menu. Uh, in this, uh, what I will be showing you is first the uh, setting up the chart of accounts. So in the chart of accounts, um, you can pretty much easily, within a few clicks, you can create your debtors and uh, creditors. And also you can create your own hierarchy uh, with the uh, our parent and child um, account concept. So um, when you are creating a new account, just click on the plus sign here. Um, it will open up another one more line here. So you put your account for um, according to uh, your uh, best practices, financial practices, uh, accounting practices, and uh, then you put your account name here. Then once you have put your account name, you can see the account type here. So this is where um, you define whether if it's a debtor, creditor, uh, or uh, um, any other account. Right? Uh, for a, a debtor, we can easily go and select customer. So even a layman can use it without knowing the uh, accounting terms. Uh, it's, it's very user friendly to use. Uh, so, uh, as the next step, so I would like to show you the um, item master uh, in the application. So that's another crucial part where you will be actually creating all your items uh, in the ERP. So let me go to the item management. In the item management, um, if you want to create a new item, you pretty much click on here. If not, if you have say 5,000, 6,000, even up to 100,000 items, uh, we can easily upload it for you via an Excel sheet. So you just have to, uh, we will provide you with a template and uh, along with the template, you can uh, provide us all the information. Then we can just straight away upload it to the system without any hesitation. If not, if you're adding a single item at a time, so you can use this, um, uh interface to do that create items so you can categorize the way you want to categorize the product uh you can brand uh, you can you'll be having multiple brands if you have then uh, multiple categories then item types say for an example if it's a raw material or uh, um if it's a semi-finished good so you can all define it here so not only that uh, there are a few other features uh you can put the part number and if you have a warranty management system, so if, if you want to provide a warranty management system, you can put the supply warranty and as well as the customer warranty. So all these things can be actually uh, created in this simple interface. So in the setup, uh, we just briefly, uh, there are so many other uh, configurations in it, like the user configurations, um, master data security, all those uh, configurations are there, including your multi-currency options. So uh, what I have shown you is the main, the, uh, uh, main two uh, items. So uh, just to give you a high level overview. So let's move on to the other part. Um, we are the procurement management. So if you have a centralized procurement management system, if you are multiple from multiple locations, if you are getting um, um, multiple uh, orders that you want to uh, pretty much 
purchase. Uh, so you pretty much go ahead and do the raise the uh, purchase requisition. So let me go ahead and create that for you. Purchase requisition. So just to uh, keep you informed, uh, we have the, uh, you can actually uh, do your browsing uh, through your main menu, uh, for an example here. Uh, so all the menus are there and the menu categories. It's just simply a matter of clicking it. So if you think if, if it's too, uh, too much of a, a burden for you to go through each and every menu and select certain items, you can go to the select uh, search, quick search menu here. Yeah. Uh, it's a matter of just typing the short name for it. Then uh, say for an example, purchase order, you are the H, then, you know, it's, it's a short, short word that you have to put. Uh, then uh, your purchase order will be appearing here, the, uh, the form. So uh, let's move on to the uh, purchase requisition note. So this is a normal uh, form uh, for purchase requisition. So you select your, if you are having multiple projects, if you're handling, especially if you're into construction business, you can select the uh, uh, project here. Uh, we will actually we'll be talking this one in a little bit more detail in the uh, project project management section. So uh, because of that, let me uh, quickly walk you through the rest of the areas. Uh, then you select the supplier, you select the location. And as I said, we have multiple business units if you, in case if you have multiple BUs. It's a matter of just selecting the BU and from the location here. And then you have to uh, select the items from here. You just put the quantity here, one or two, then you add to the grid. So as you can see, uh, it, this item, particular item was added to the grid uh, in the purchase request and just go ahead and save it. So in the other forms, uh, I will be quickly walking you through the uh, each and every form. However, I will not be doing each and every transaction since you already have seen how it works on our system. So I will briefly show you how the other uh, forms work. So, uh, so we looked at the purchase requisition. So, and once the purchase requisition has been done, uh, then let's go move on to the next step, uh, which is the purchase order, raising a purchase order. So again, I'm going to use the uh, quick menu here, quick search button here, and let me type purchase order. So, I mean, it's hassle free if you want to, I mean, if you want to go through the menu and look for it, uh, each and every item, you know, it might take, it, it might consume a lot of time. So in this scenario, it's a matter of just clicking it. Okay, so we are on to the uh, purchase order. And uh, in this, uh, you will see, notice a little bit more detail. And uh, also, uh, once you have raised the purchase requisition, you can pull that purchase requisition directly from here, this feature. So get from purchase requisition. So it's a matter of just clicking it. And all the purchase requisitions will be loading here. Then you double click on the relevant one. Then automatically it will be loaded here. So here, uh, whatever you don't, the information that you don't have on the purchase requisition, you can just pretty much go ahead and enter it, say for an example, uh, which location to deliver, uh, then again, the location and the business unit, all those things are uh, quite standard, uh, pretty much standard. Then uh, you go ahead and add to the uh, grid. Uh, then you go ahead and save it. So that's how the, that's how you raise a purchase uh, order. So let's move on to the next section. So, uh, so far we have covered the chart of accounts, uh, item master. Now we have raised the purchase requisition and we have converted that purchase requisition to a purchase order. Uh, now the new section would be the inventory. So here, uh, what you'll be doing is you'll be wondering how do we create multiple locations? Uh, so we would go ahead and quickly, I'll show you how do you create multiple locations, uh, your uh, store hierarchy or your warehouse hierarchy. Go to edit it code. Here you select the location. So your location hierarchy would be loading here. 